Well, you know the most. Is it kind of go on, on a serious exactly. exactly. I don't understand your own business. This one, I don't understand your own business. <laughs> what? I you're supposed to come correct. How? Girl basically insulted everybody there. Who the hell are you? Like, that's when they, in fact, I feel like that's when they realized that, yo, this girl actually did some major insults. But it's so funny that they didn't realize it. Why are they so slow? <laughs> you know, blues, orange, you know, I'm wearing couture, honey, okay. My fascinator looks on point, it's literally touching the sky. The host, she looks like an Atilopo dancer. I just didn't get the memo really. Looks, although the whole outfit is shining in my eyes. Yeah. I'm a bad bitch, we don't cry. Yeah. You know, I'm just like, a bunch of boring girls. It was getting boring. I freaking saw my godson. Like, are these your friends? Yeah. Who is from? What's going on here? I better see my old ass there. The guests that we hate turn out to be my children. So it's continuation of Tutu Pie's vacation. Like, Tutu Pie really took out time for this vacation. We have to say, we have to give it. She tried. She put in the efforts for this vacation, but. There is a bot and there's a comma in this location. Welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I'm very great and hope you stay. So remember to subscribe and hit the bell button so that we will keep gisting about these housewives. Like generally, the whole housewives of Abuja, Nairobi, we also have that of the band going on currently. So now let's go to the station of um the housewives. So as from last week, from last week, we saw that Sutupai actually invited the girls for a station and the station continues. So she have to go to their individual rooms to wake each and every one of them up that they should all come down for you i am yoga i think she did not give them that memo because most of them were very somehow when she actually went to wake them up so by the time she went she knocked at their door it was only comfort and arafa that actually gave her a listening ear in regards to the yoga so they all came out arafa and comfort came out with um tutu pie for the yoga session and as they were doing the yoga session then walks in um, Mrs. and samantha for the whole session this lady did not come out oj prosharela did not come out as she has said she doesn't like stress she's just minister of happiness and she's not all about that whole stress and that and oh um, princess was all about like see i rather starve myself and to lose some weight then actually go through some exercise and all of that so the whole yoga session went on well after the yoga session and then the girls actually sat together and had a little or the ladies actually sat together and had little chats here and there in regards to the previous night which had to do with jaroma so um princess was not just having it princess from as we saw from last week was not just having what jaroma had to say about the lady saying that oh she doesn't go out because she doesn't want disrespect from the ladies and all of that this girl basically insulted everybody there you know talking about everybody should respect her that you know she has not been here that she has been in hiding or she has not been coming out for 15 years and suddenly she's coming out and we should respect her and all of that <laughs> and so Princess was now surprised that the ladies did not even think about it, that they did not even see that as an insult from the one. Like, I, she was like, I guys slow. Like, people could not pick up, pick out that this is actually a shade that this Jaroma actually came to play on us. And people were just quiet and just folding your hands and looking at her. In my head, because last week I was wondering, like, didn't these ladies actually realize that Jaroma was indirectly insulting them? Sure, just not even indirectly, that Jaroma was directly insulting them. They just kept quiet and was, they were just smiling. But rather, when they came to their confessions, they were now blasting the Jaroma. Why don't you blast Jaroma there and there? Why are you now? waiting for your confession before you have one or two things to see well that's in past we now see um tutu pie and um, oj pasharela having some coffee and then tutu pie and said this is your goddaughter right like what's up with her is she all right <laughs> like we don't expect such from someone like that and oj pasharela was like well people did not give her a chance people did not welcome her and all that. my head are like how didn't they welcome her excuse me what do you mean by did not welcome her someone that was all rude someone that was all not nasty like her attitude was something else then after that um, OJ Prochola talked about her business so OJ Prochola is actually into jewelries she's actually into clothing and bags and now she wants to go fully into her music career you know there's always branches to OJ's tree because I'm aware of her jewelry line I'm aware of her shoes and bags I'm aware of the clothes but I 
didn't really know about music like that. So Oji Pushela wants to actually explore her music side. Like we've seen in one or two occasions where if she's trying to say something, she ends up turning into music. So she wants to explore her music career and she now tells Tutu that she wants Tutu support because Tutu is like an all rounder. She moves and shakes tables of Abuja and in Lagos. So I kind of like that Oji Pushela is bringing out her personality because initially I was like, what's really the personalities of this housewife? Like everything was just bland about them. I could not say, okay, this is what this person does and this is what is only um, Prince. Princess Jikoko, I could really pinpoint as okay, Princess Jikoko is like an influencer and YouTuber and something like that. But all what does, I could not just say, okay, this is what this person is doing and this is what this person is not doing. But now that OJ Pasherela is putting her house, because this is like a big platform for you to come and sell yourself, for you to come and sell your brand. That's just the essence. So the next thing, we're now seeing Tutu and Samantha going to the gym after the whole yoga class. They went into the gym because both of them are actually gym gurus, like they love the gym. So while they were gyming for a while, they now talk about what they do. And then as in this episode, I think this episode was just more like them selling their brand, but they did not still sell it well, 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 because I don't know whether it's allowed. No, none of them actually mentioned the name of their brand. I think it was just last week that Comfort mentioned the name of her brand. And I went to actually check it on Instagram. That page is like dead. Like there's nothing happening on that page. So, um, they now we're not talking about their businesses and then both of them said they're into fashion but samantha is into kids and adults while um what's her name arafa is just into adults so samantha was actually preparing she said she has a collection that's coming up and the collection is for the festive season while arafa on the other hand say her own collection is for the spring that is forthcoming and i'm happy at least they are putting out their brands but what is the name of your brand? I don't know whether the producers are against them saying the names of your brands, but I think it's doing lots, a whole lot for them. So moving on comes the pies, tutu pies brunch. So the um, dress sense for the um, tutu pies brunch is English tea with fascinators, and then come and see the housewives dishing out some hot looks and some not hot looks like that. You know, blues, orange. You know, I'm wearing couture, honey. Okay. So, first person or first set of people that got there were actually Tutu Pai the host and Princess J. Coco. Princess is always giving us cultural looks. So, you should always know that Princess will be there to deliver. Princess was all hot. Princess was looking very amazing. But there was a but. See, when you hear but, you know that there's something that went wrong. So, I guess she got in there. Apparently, she was twinning with the decoration because everything she wore had the same color of decoration so it was more like they looked at her and said you know what princess you're going to twin with decoration today you know we're coming in and guess what i was matching with the decor oh my gosh then tutu pie in my head i like tutu pie you're the host of this event you're the one that gave this dress code what exactly are you doing with this outfit i'm seeing you on like she wanna Ankara um dress them with a fascinator you can style your ankara and still look english but this was not giving me english at all i like that arafa did not even spare her arafa gave it to her arafa was like are you going for an ashwabi party because this is not looking english in any way it's not englishing if you ask me the next set of people that came in arafa and um comfort like those ones are twins as we all know so they came in they were looking good but i think i would prefer that of comfort outfit i prefer comfort outfit better than um What's her name? Arafat's outfit. Comfort gave me like mommy Jill's um, look with her hat, but that hat was actually when you talk about English, when you look at Queen Elizabeth and you look at Comfort, you know that exactly this is what you mean by English. Then, after several hours, the two late commas then arrived in persons of, <laughs> you already know by now, um, Samantha and OJ Poshorella. They came in, and I think OJ Poshorella actually did justice to her own outfit, but Samantha's look was just there. See, I don't know, Samantha's um, cast, I don't know whether to say Samantha's cast is actually relevant this housewives same thing with oj poshorella i think oj poshorella is just she's just being mild she's just being there i've not seen any significant thing that she's putting in the show but well let's keep watching i think maybe subsequently we'll see more of oj poshorella then they all came for the um brunch had discussions so basically tutu pai who is the host says oh that she actually said 
plan for this vacation so that she can actually get to know all the housewives and know each and every that she has seen most of them but know them in person she now talked about herself that she's actually a very nice person she's cool she's so loving and she's actually emotional but sometimes when she goes razz like that is because of where she has been that she has actually been abused she has been in an abusive relationship would like get fight for no reason it's obviously coming from an abusive relationship that i've had experienced I mean, it literally happened once. And that kind of affected her. So that's why each time she's actually rash like that, is that abuse. She's like, she wants to be, she just wants to speak up for herself. Like, she doesn't want anybody to take advantage of her because of what she has been through and all of that. But she's taking care of the abuser. So all of the housewives talked about themselves. Um, Samantha, as usual, is like, I'm myself. I don't really speak out. I'm always on my own and all of that. <laughs> Same thing. She basically all the housewives did not even say anything meaningful okay then next person that said something was ara farah was like oh she misses her kids that her kids are actually outside abroad schooling that she misses them she misses she talks mostly of her daughter who is 16 years that she actually misses the daughter then the next thing is the now the chef now comes in and wow them a little and do some <laughs> food 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 fire i don't know what they call that thing does something like that and then um gives them some to eat that later on that whole brunch thing came to an end i think the brunch was actually a fantastic one i'm going to give it to old jam to tutu pie she did an excellent job as i said before this tutu's turn to host the ladies she did a good job she had good motives but like there was a bot and okay now let's go after that whole brunch thing the house the housewives were very happy in my head i'm like ha, i hope this can continue like i love to see happiness like minister of happiness is this so there should be happiness right i love i loved today's episode a whole lot then the next thing is that we are seeing that they have a pool party to actually organize the pool party so i think the two pool party is basically for them to come and unwind like they should come and relax i think that was just the essence of the two um, pool party they got there but one person came i don't know she came pretty late kind of and that is um princess jekoko i don't know where that i don't know why she actually came really didn't really explain that so the ladies were there chilling and then arafa stood up basically this is a pool party arafa stood up to dance and then when she stood up to dance she was trying to call the other ladies that come let's dance and some of them were just so non so most of them were just non challenged and that kind of pissed arafa off they dance with me and they're like you know just like bunch of boring girls pool party we should be in the pool like like this is a pool party right we are supposed to be in the pool so i don't know why most of the ladies are sitting down not doing anything like the pool party the decoration oh god see so, yeah, everything was on point even the brunch decoration was on point that even tutu was like see i don't mind getting married because this decoration is so so on point so going back to the pool party decoration was on point so it's something that should actually drag the ladies into the pool like seeing how beautiful it was like why are you there was even a trace of food tree in the in the swimming pool that nobody even went to get so they were just there to surprise the excuse for not going into the pool was she was at that point she was on her period at that point in time so she couldn't go into the swimming pool but the other ladies were just there and just not doing anything gisting basically like this is not what we're here for so at a point in time they decided to take shots maybe taking shots, kind of brightening up their mood of which it actually did a little so they, start, they stood up and started dancing a little and then next thing is that we are seeing some young people coming into their into their midst and basically it was tutu that invited them so the ladies are like i thought um tutu said she has left the streets but obviously she's still in the streets because what are these young people doing then i forgot to actually mention something i don't know whether the producers i don't really know what kind of mistake they made from the title of the of this particular episode it said ageism when i saw that ageism what is agsm like it's not ageism it was when Comfort was doing her confession, I was like, oh, is this what this guy is actually trying to say? It's supposed to be A-G-E-I-S-M. Producers, come and pay me for that. So, um, these little ones, not little ones, these young ones now come into their midst. And these ladies, bear in mind, are very, are like, of age. Even Arafa even said that her godson was there. Ma, Friends, come here, girl. I freaking saw my godson. Like, are these your friends? Yo, what the? 
place. So you can imagine what you and your godson will be doing in the same space. Like, even me myself, I was feeling so uncomfortable for them. See, at times, eh, you have to give yourself some respect. Yes, I know sometimes we have younger ones who are our bosses, even comfort hard to say it, who are our bosses, who we will even take orders from. But I think a space defines the type of respect you get. Like, this is a, a social gathering. So, staying there with some young ones can bring some sort of disrespect if you're not careful because this young one sometimes yeah, they can decide to go the other way and think that both of you are on the same page so the ladies were not even having it they were not so comfortable with hanging out with these young ones but at the same time they just have to do what they have to do but that was towards the ending of the whole episode when our um, tutu who is the host now came and spoke to them and said please can you all come to the party let us stay together and all of that but i feel it's kind of not so cool if you ask me that you're hosting the ladies and then you didn't even tell them you invited other people so according to tutu pai the ladies were boring her so she started to call on people that were not bored and that's why she likes hanging out with younger people but at the same time they were boring you should have told them Oh, I think this party is boring. Let us invite certain people. You didn't do any of that. That's some kind of disrespect, if you ask me. So, I, so that is where she actually got it wrong. The whole um, staycation, everything. She had good intentions, good thoughts, but at the end, like everything went on well. But towards the end, she just used that ending part to spoil everything about the whole staycation. But then on the day, I love that the White Housewives enjoyed themselves. They were happy and then from the brunch Tutu actually said that she's going to give the best the best dress something that if anybody if you don't get any gifts in the morning they know that you're not the best dress so the next morning after the brunch and whole party we now see food food of trees um going to some people's room so some the those that got um food trays are arafa for best dress and then we had uj poshela for best dress as well. I said I was going to give presents to the best dress at brunch. My pit would be OJ and comfort. And I'm like, what am I suck ass? Then later on in her confessions, in her confessions, she now had to say, oh, she gave, she also gave, um, what's her name, Princess Jekoko, because she knows that Princess Jekoko will not allow her rest if she doesn't give Princess Jekoko her own um, food tree. Then Princess Jekoko was like, well, comfort, Arafa, sorry. Princess Jekoko was like, Tutu is blind, she doesn't know fashion, that is why she couldn't say that she is the best dress. But if you come to think of it, who is the best dress? Let me know in the comment section who you think was the best dress. Personally, I think it is um, Princess Jekoko and I think it's actually between Princess J Well, I don't really know Sha. Even Comfort did well. Comfort gave us the typical queen-like look if you ask me. Like queen, like she was dressed like a queen basically. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this episode. Next week's episode is going to be Bulls, Bulls, Bulls because I can see Arafa and um, Princess Jekoku having an altercation in Arafa's house. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's, what's, what's going on with Princess. But at the end of the day, she's actually the one giving us good a watch that she's actually the one making us watch this um this thing this housewives of abuja so as i've said please subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section i'll see you in my next video and bye